again, ASIS, pubic synthesis, microscope. And, you know, if, if he has something looser, you can usually see the, the crease where you want to go. So there's a little divot. So you can palpate this on yourself, actually. Just come off your AS, between your, halfway between your ASIS and your pubic synthesis. Sort of in the soft spot, it's a little divot, you'll fall into it. Just sort of palpate down. Like some musculatures on either side. And just put a little pressure in there and see if you can find the femoral folds. Find it on yourself. Right there. It should be pretty strong if you're in the right spot. Everyone got that? You're okay. Okay, next one. Sartorius. Sartorius. So give me the, the proximal again. ASIS2. ASIS to the medial tibial condyle. Okay, so it's going to do this, correct? Right. And cross over. So we call this a what is Taylor. It Taylor. This is Taylor. 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 That's the motion that it does. So you just want to be able to trace it. Tell me the origin insertion, okay? Yeah. Proximal distal. Are you guys using origin insertion or proximal and distal? Both. 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 Next one. Adductor longus. Okay, adductor longus. Again, I tend to put them in this position. Give me the origin insertion. Pubic. 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 So you want to be able to trace it, and fibers are running this way. <laughs> well, I'm not going to actually <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, we did this one, guys. Uh, the next other bursa, do you want to hold it? Yeah, we can do this one. Okay. Iliopectineal bursa? Iliopectineal. So it lies beneath what muscles? Did we say that already? Mm -hmm. um, the iliopsoas tendon and the iliopubic eminence. Okay. So where I just was for the, for the iliopsoas, again, it's going to be the, the pectineus muscle is right in here. So again, do, do some protection. I'm sorry. Bend the knee, and it's going to be right in there. So for the exam, you just want to be able to identify where it is, maybe point to where it is. Trochanter reversa. Okay, we just did that one. Over the greater trochanter, what did you say? What? Yeah. Trochanter. Yeah. Um, between the glutes. I don't know where you go. And uh, <laughs> separate the glutes from the greater trochanter. So over the greater trochanter. Okay. Next one. Tensure fascia lata. So that's this whole strip here. On, on most people, you can palpate it back and forth. You know, you're going to want to know origin insertion nodes on the lateral aspect here. Sciatic node. And that would be the same And read, me, read to me what we decided. Inferior to the piriformis. <laughs> okay. So if you want to actually light up the sciatic nerve, and I'm, I would be gentle. <laughs> So again, I, I sort of do the same thing, you know, finger, fingers on the greater trochanter here and the sacrum also, and it's sort of like right, usually if I follow my thumb up, it's going to be right in there. It's sort of the lower aspect of the sacrum, and usually if you just go into this area, you can make it light up. You feel anything? Mm, not especially. Not especially. Do you guys have any landmarks? Did he give you any specific <coughs> landmarks? Okay, yeah. so Next one. Ischial bursa. Ischial bursa, again, we're going to find the ischial tuberosity through this L shape, just so you know you can find it in an appropriate way. Right there. Cuneal nerves. Cuneal nerves, we decided that they're, if you're going to palpate them, they're going to come over the iliac crest. I think they kind of go in this direction. Correct? Have you guys, have you guys learned that in your anatomy at all? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So they're sensory, so I, I, th I, would, I would gather, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. They're, they're sensory, so you're going to do sort of a sensory test, which is why you want to be able to palpate where they are over the iliac crest. Gluteal medius. Is that our next muscle? Yes. Okay. So what, what are our attachment sites for that again? Iliac crest below the gluteus maximus attachment. 
so again, if you come, I usually use the, the PSIS as a landmark and palpate over. And, and I think this is just my training for whenever I find certain muscles, I sort of look for, for divots. So here's the glute max. I just sort of come over the glute max and into the next little divot, and that's usually your glute meat. Sort of push it out of the way. Glute max. And a, you can give me an origin description for that again. It's a lot of stuff. It's the PSIS, yeah. the posterior iliac spine, mm -hmm. uh, posterior ilium, uh, sac dorsal surface of the sacrum, coccyx. So try and get most of those if you're not allowed. Sacro tuberous ligament? Yes. Okay. Next one. Next one is the semimembranosis. Semimembranosis. Give me origins and surgeons. I think we do that one. Did you say supine or prone? Uh, so it has to be four. Yeah, we'll be going back to the But it's posterior five. So it's the issue of tuberosity to right. the medial condyle of the tibia. Okay. So again, you want to be able to trace it in terms of palpating it. It'll come along the side of the biceps tendon. Semitendinosis. Can you tell me the origin of your shrimp? The initial tuberosity to the medial tibia. The presence, right? Presence, right. So you're in the, in the same area. Biceps mollis. Okay. And give me the, dis the, give me the distal attachment. A distal attachment will be the head of the fibula to the tendon where it's fit. Side of the fibula is collateral Okay. So again, be able to trace it and identify. These are pretty straightforward, the back of the leg. Is that it? Yes. Okay, so pair up doctor patient.